May I present to you, Curly Cami Channel, massaging her head and ready for at home silk press. Now let me let you know this is my first time doing a silk press on my hair, a full process of videos I have seen on YouTube. Here is my crazy hair that needs a desperate finger coil and a haircut. Let's start with, of course, a nice clean shower. Here I am getting my hair wet and ready and clean and nice. <sighs> Takes forever to get my hair wet. However, I like this process. I like getting my hair wet, but I always sometimes forget to take out my tail in the back that I use to prevent tangles. And it's a very good good idea that I did and here's my process of using conditioner first to detangle my hair before I shampoo and conditioner later once I am done I get out of the shower roll up my hair in a cotton shirt and proceed to this next step yes playing with the camera, adding some Paul Mitchell, the conditioner original into my hair and blow drying it. I had some struggles with this one, not knowing what to do, but I did find out that you need to use your dominant hand for your brush and use your non-dominant hand for your blow dryer. And of course, use the add-on insert for your blow dryer just to make this process more easier. I did not have it, nor could I find it, so I worked with what I got. Now, my naively, very, very childish of me, in a way of not knowing that I should have put some argan oil in my hair before I did this, I believe. It's just conditioner and heat. And I saw a lot of smoke while I was blow drying. However, I normally, as I saw in videos I've seen on YouTube, started from the back when blow drying. I thought a paddle brush would work, but the paddle brush I have, I thought it was, plas was plastic and I thought it would melt. So I did not use that. However, this is a new technique I used of doing just the back section and then starting from the side on my right side and blow drying from that. However, a, night, a not so good idea was doing medium to large sections of my hair and blow drying it. I should have used smaller, smaller sections. However, it was around nine o'clock at night and I had an early morning. So it's my fault. I wasn't time prioritizing as well with this but sooner or later I got the hang of blow drying my hair as you can tell it's not happening at this moment because the middle section would still be wet while the roots and the ends are dry so I had to live and learn from this little exposure and getting all heated up from my blow dryer. Now, the setting is on high heat, mainly because it was late at night and I know my hair was going to take longer while I was straightening it. So, I quickly wanted to get this over with, even though it was my first time. And now watching it and seeing what I've done, I should have done a Smaller sections should have added possibly more oil, oil to my hair. Please comment below if I should have. I really need to know this just in case I do it again next year when I need to straighten my hair and cut it. And I'm curious, is this little sectioning off starting from the side and then going in the back, is that more easier for you um, if you're doing it by yourself? I would really like to know. As always, I am still putting it in smaller, not smaller, very large sections and blow drying it because I would have to repeat blow drying certain sections of that section because 
the blow dryer couldn't get to it because it's it doesn't have the tool that would get that section I wanted completely dry and ready. Now, as I proceed on heat damaging my hair, I get exhausted <laughs> and turned off the camera and decided to do this by myself with some videos and music just to boost up my strength and finish strong in this blow drying process and first time. And as you can see, it is in a bit of some smaller sections and the majority of this section is dry at the roots and ends, but not so much in the middle. But it's not because of my mouth, no, no, no. I made sure of that. It did, it did not get affected by my saliva. It did not even touch it either, so. I finish off this area of my hair repeatedly. I know that it would have been more easier if someone else did it, but I like doing things on my own. You know, you got some people who can do a blowout on their own hair. I mean, I can try to do this myself. It takes practice. This is my first time. So, yeah, let's, we will finish off this final section of hair and continue with the next wonderful experience of yes playing with my hair looking at myself oh this is what we do or this is what I do play with my hair you can't do this when it's curly bye <laughs> hi again yes here I am I really like this I mean I look like Diana Ross, at least the hair looks like Diana Ross, not me. And here we go. Now let's start with my personal hair time. I straighten my hair with this profession and this comb, mainly because it's what I need. And I've added this Moroccan Argan oil to my hair in sections, which I probably should not have because I did add a bit too much oil into each section I put in. However, to fix those, it's best to, oh, look at that. It took an hour and 24 minutes to finish my hair. However, back to adding too much oil, I did put in some baby oil, not baby oil, baby powder. I would section off a, an area, like a part to the side, add some powder in that little area and then make another part add powder make another part add powder flip my hair over and massage that powder into my hair now here is the final result bum, bum, bum. wow look at me yeah, can you tell it's a bit, it's a bit shiny. It, it looks like, uh, yeah, I added too much. But it's long. I think it's really long. The longest I've ever had my hair. However, I had to cut it. As you can see, those dry, very lifeless ends down there. It's gross. But it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Look at that. It's past my tailbone. Well, past my lumbar spine area, at least. And I'm very long. However, here is the next day where I did my, I did the powder and hair look and brushed it. It's a bit frizzy because it's toward the middle of the day, around noon, and yeah. It's not completely straight because it's time for photo time in comparison before my crazy hair. Now, let's do the reveal. Dun dun dun! Here's my cut. Look at that cut. Look at the, the much hair I cut. Yeah. Now it's bedtime. 
so much time for bedtime now i did wrap my hair for the first time if you want to see more please subscribe thank you for watching and embrace joy